Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena. Main cameras on phones are getting more and more advanced, and the Galaxy S23 Ultras is one of the best. So we decided to pit the S23 Ultra against the other top Android camera phones you can get right now. What we have is a good old camera shootout between the Galaxy S23 Ultra, the Xiaomi 13 Pro, the Vivo X90 Pro, and the Xiaomi 12S Ultra. Let's get into it. Compared to the other three phones here, the S23 Ultra is a different beast. It brings a brand new 200 megapixel sensor, the Isocell HP2. It uses a Tetra 2 pixel Bayer filter to group 16 pixels into one, and with a slight crop, that means you get 12 megapixel photos. It's the highest resolution sensor in our lineup, but also the smallest in size, and it sits behind an f1.7 stabilized lens. The other three of these phones, the Xiaomi 13 Pro, Xiaomi 12S Ultra, and Vivo X90 Pro, have the same 1-inch type 50.3 megapixel sensor, a Sony IMX989. That's the largest sensor on the market right now for smartphones, with the largest pixel size too. The Xiaomi 12S Ultra was the first mainstream smartphone with a sensor. It bins pixels 4 to 1 to produce 12.5 megapixel photos, and is paired with a stabilized f1.9 Leica branded lens. Then we have the Xiaomi 13 Pro. It inherits the same main camera of the 12S Ultra, even down to the lens, but it does have a different chipset and processing. And then there's the Vivo X90 Pro. It again brings the same huge IMX989 sensor, but has an f1.8 Zeiss branded lens. Let's start off the shootout with the main cameras in daylight. These are optimal conditions where the cameras should perform to the best of their abilities. Just a note that we shot all phones in their native camera app with the default settings, with scene recognition and HDR turned on. The Vivo X90 Pro was in the default Vivo Vivid mode. It's a similar situation with the two Xiaomi's. We shot in their default Leica vibrant modes. Let's begin with the color rendition. The Galaxy S23 Ultra brings a saturated look, but it's not over the top. The colors are reasonably vibrant, and the skies are consistently realistic looking. Like the Galaxy, the Xiaomi 13 Pro keeps colors close to natural, with just a little bit of extra pop. The red on this theater's facade is the truest to life on the Xiaomi 13 Pro. In contrast, the Xiaomi 12S Ultra's colors are quite vivid, especially reds and blues. And the Vivo's colors are the most saturated here. The photos are lively and eye-catching, though not terribly realistic, with cyan-looking skies and pinker reds. So in general, the Galaxy S23 Ultra and Xiaomi 13 Pro take more balanced looking photos when it comes to colors, while the Xiaomi 12S Ultra and Vivo X90 Pro produce a punchier, more exaggerated look. Let's talk now about the contrast and dynamic range. The Galaxy S23 Ultra maintains well-detailed but naturally dark shadows. The highlights are always well-controlled too. The S23 Ultra retains the sky, detail, and color information even in directly sunlit scenes. The Xiaomi 13 Pro is close to the Galaxy in terms of highlight retention, but pushes its shadows lower. Blacks come out darker, resulting in a moodier, high contrast look. The Xiaomi 12S Ultra goes even further, snapping the most contrasty images here. Shadows are darker and look good. The highlights are brighter too, and sometimes the 12S Ultra struggles with highlights and bright skies. The Vivo isn't as dark, but the highlights are bright, sometimes to the very edge of being blown. In bright scenes, you can lose some color and detail information, and end up with a blown out sky. And here's a look at all four side by side to compare. Let's get into detail rendition. The Galaxy S23 Ultra's photos are crisp and have a nice balance between detail and noise. Its photos are most of the time the sharpest, even a bit over sharpened. The Xiaomi 13 Pro's photos come out nicely detailed but it delivers its detail without as much sharpening as the S23 Ultra. The result is more like a camera than a smartphone. The Xiaomi 12S Ultra's images are crisp and clear. There's a great level of detail with subtle sharpening. And the Vivo X90 Pro can deliver a great level of detail, balanced sharpening, and very low noise. In general, the phones with the 1-inch type sensors produce a more natural looking image than the Samsung with its 200 megapixel sensor. There's less sharpening, and fine textures are a bit more lifelike. Now, how do these phones handle lens flares? The Galaxy S23 Ultra does a decent job, 
preserving a lot of the contrast and colors from the scene. The Xiaomi 13 Pro does an even better job. Shooting into the sun with the Xiaomi 13 Pro works quite well. The Xiaomi 12S Ultra's performance here is also quite respectable. And in this scene, the Vivo X90 Pro was the worst. The image is hazy, there's quite a bit of flare, and a huge amount of the micro contrast is lost. Let's see them all together now. Another comparison we'll do is the depth of field, which is affected by the sensor size and the lens aperture. At the same distance from a subject, you'll get more of it in focus with the Galaxy S23 Ultra, and more of the background will be in focus as well. The 1-inch type cameras will have a more shallow depth of field. Part of your subject can end up outside of this and out of focus. And also more of the background will be defocused with that natural bokeh. This can be a sought-after effect, or not, depending on what you're going for. So we can see that the Galaxy S23 Ultra can keep the entire subject here in focus, while the others can only manage to focus on the front of it. On the upside, the three 1-inch cameras produce blurrier backgrounds, with subjectively nicer bokeh. Speaking of bokeh, let's check out how the photos of people turn out. The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra leaves shadows on the face for a contrastier look. However, the skin tones are too saturated and the skin itself looks oversharpened. The Xiaomi 13 Pro has a balanced approach to sharpening, which we prefer. However, skin tones are still oversaturated. The Xiaomi 12S Ultra is better in this regard, with more natural looking skin tones. There's plenty of detail in the face, but no unnecessary sharpening. Our only nitpick is blown highlights on the face and challenging lighting. The Vivo X90 Pro has the best representation of skin tone, and the dynamic range is excellent. However, the faces come out over sharpened and with low contrast. Overall, we'd say the Xiaomi 12S Ultra sits above the rest. The Xiaomi 13 Pro and Vivo X90 Pro are together in second, leaving the Galaxy S23 Ultra last in the portrait challenge. Now let's move on to low light performance. For our first comparison, we didn't use auto night mode, we shot these images with night mode disabled. We'll start off with the exposure and dynamic range. With night mode off, the Galaxy S23 Ultra has the darkest overall exposures. It had issues with light sources, especially point lighting, where some highlights can get blown out. The Xiaomi 13 Pro has the narrowest dynamic range here though. It often overexposes the highlights and crushes the darkest of shadows. The Xiaomi 12S Ultra also blows out its highlights, but manages to retain more of the shadow detail. And the Vivo X90 Pro snaps the brightest images with boosted shadows. Here's a look at all four side by side. Just like during the day, the S23 Ultra again brings plenty of sharpening. The detail level is quite good, but there is noticeable noise. The Xiaomi 13 Pro brings in a great amount of detail, and sharpening is just right. The white balance is spot on too, but the colors are a bit dull. The Xiaomi 12S Ultra has excessive sharpening, lending textures a slightly artificial look. The Vivo brings the most detail and nice balanced sharpening. It also has a warm white balance and produces the most saturated colors. So we'd say that with night mode off, the Vivo's overall rendition is the most impressive. Now let's have a look at the results with night mode toggled on. The S23 Ultra's night mode does a good job. The blown out highlights are recovered and the exposures are brighter. There's more detail in shadows and less noise too. The Xiaomi 13 Pro's dedicated night mode images get a very slight boost in the shadows and the blown out highlights are brought back. The Xiaomi 12S Ultra also gets a nice benefit from night mode. Highlights are restored, and the shadows get a slight boost. And the Vivo X90 Pro's night mode also does its job well, saving those blown highlights. Again, here's the comparison, and when it comes to dynamic range, they're all pretty good. Night modes also have an effect on detail too, and that's what we see on the S23 Ultra. You end up losing quite a bit of fine detail to the noise reduction. The Xiaomi 13 Pro also sacrifices some fine detail in exchange for lower noise. With the Xiaomi 12S Ultra, there's actually no major loss of detail, and there's still no noise to speak of. And the Vivo X90 Pro's night mode leaves the details and colors untouched. Here's the comparison, and we'd say that the Vivo X90 Pro is the best in low light. It snaps bright, vivid images with loads of detail and balanced sharpening, and the Xiaomi 12S Ultra is a close second. So there you have it guys, all four of these phones have great cameras, and picking a straight up winner is pretty tough, but there are some observations worth emphasizing here at the end of the video. 
The camera with the most consistent results was the Galaxy S23 Ultras. The photos always came out sharp and usable, with good output time and again in different scenarios. On the other hand, the Vivo X90 Pro could sometimes end up with some blown highlights, and is not so good in bright situations. But its photos were the most impressive overall, bright, lively, and vivid, and the nighttime performance is great. The Xiaomi 12s Ultra also likes those vivid colors and bright exposures, again going for that wow factor. And the Xiaomi 13 Pro brings a more subdued look that's more true to life than eye-popping. All in all, they're some of the best camera phones you can get right now, and we can't wait to see what's in store for us next. Thanks for watching, and see you on the next one.